welcome back. Today I was really, well, hmm. I was torn about doing this video because it's been a little while. Um, I like doing the little subscription unboxings, I think everybody does, but it's really fun to see um, what other people get in them. I know I personally love seeing what other people get in their subscription boxes, so I thought that it was just I, it's a video I like filming. Um, and I did my Ipsy one for May, but I hadn't done June's yet, and I got June's um, a while ago, and I, like we all know by now, probably, you know, I had to take a little break due to computer issues, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to film this video. Um, but I am, and I think I'm going to start doing my subscription box unboxings a little differently. I think I'm going to put them up a little later than most people do, um, because I think I want to kind of make them an unboxing slash review. Because it's really great to see what someone gets in their boxing, or sort of their subscription boxes, but I really want to know how the stuff works, and um, I think that would probably be more beneficial for you guys. I know that that's something that I like a little more. So this is the bag for Ipsy for um, July. I, I like the bags personally. I know that Birchbox, the boxes are always cute, and you can use them for storage and things. Personally, I didn't feel like I got things in Birchbox that I really liked a whole lot, so I did cancel that subscription and I switched to Ipsy. Um, and I like that with Ipsy, you've always got these little bags. And I had someone say that, you know, oh, well, I just don't think I need all those little makeup bags. Well, I do a lot of traveling, um, you know, just around visiting my family. They live close to me, not like super, super down the street close, but I travel a lot. I see my grandma, my cousins, um, different people in my family. I, I travel all over the country. I travel for work throughout the state, and these also make really good bags to give away as gifts. So if you have another makeup lover in your life, or just a girl in general, I mean, what girl couldn't use a cute little makeup bag? So you might put money in it. You might put a card or something else in it. You might just stick it in with another gift. So that's a great way to reuse these um, little makeup bags if you get too many and you don't want to keep them or if you get one you're not really fond of. You may know of somebody who has got a birthday or some kind of event coming up and you can just toss the bag in with um, the other gift. So that's just a thought so you're not accumulating all these bags and you're like, hey, what do I do? But anyway, moving on to what's in the box. Um, for June, it is Swim Into Beauty is their theme, and you can see the little water, and she's all golden, bronze, goddessy look. Um, and yeah, I mean, the back just tells you a little bit of info about when a subs one year subscription, which is, you know, what they had going on for June. It doesn't tell you anything about the products, though, which is one thing that Ipsy doesn't have that Birchbox did. Birchbox would have a description card and tell you everything that's in it, um, but it also keeps you from cheating. So the first thing that's in the bag is this, um, what is it? The Caratherapy Keratin Infused Daily Smoothing Cream. Um, this is a really, really nice size. It's a huge deluxe sample. And this says it's um, a daily smoothing cream that's heat activated blow dry treatment that can be utilized in the salon or at home. It restores and revives dull frizzy hair to healthy smooth shiny locks. Reduces blow drying time. You just take a little bit, massage it through your hair and then blow dry. It has a really nice smell. Very not flowery, a little fruity. Little fruity, little flowery. It's not heavy. It's not real. I mean it's a thicker cream um, but it's not heavy on your hair. I like this. It's I, I would purchase this in a full size because I do like it. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what the price point is on a, for a full size one of these. So if it's a whole lot, then I probably wouldn't purchase it because I don't think it's outstandingly extraordinary. But for, you know, if it's um, you know, a little bit, you know, 20 bucks or so, I would purchase this. I like it and I think it did what it said it did. So I did like that. The next thing in here is, oh, I really liked this. It is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Blackhead Extractor Mask. This was the first thing I pulled out of the bag, and I was like, yes! I am always looking for ways to clean out my pores, clean out my skin. I don't really have large pores, but I feel like my pores, my pores, I don't have large pores, but I feel like my pores hold on 
two things a lot more than other people's and maybe that's just the way pores work I don't know but I really liked this it goes on clear and then it turns into like this whitish light baby blue color when you know it's like fully developed and then you just rinse it off I really liked this um, I think this is more of a high end. It was around, I think the full size for it was something like $40, $50 for the full size bottle, which is not too bad if you're, you know, only using it once or twice a week. It should last you a while. I still have a lot in here and I've used it several times. Um, it's only a quarter of an ounce, but I really liked this and I saw a difference. It didn't like suck everything out, but I definitely could notice that the blackheads weren't as noticeable and dark. So, yeah. Next, we've got a little Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and it's oil free, um, which is great. This, I didn't really feel that it was any different than any other primer. Well, I take that back. It is different from other primers. It's got like that silicone-y, slippy feel to it. If I had to choose this one or my Mary Kay primer, I would choose my Mary Kay primer because it has SPF in it and this one doesn't. Um, you may choose this one so that you don't get some flashback, although I don't think that the Mary Kay one really causes um, flashback too much unless you're like super high def. It's what I wear on the regular and I don't really have any problem with it. I like this. It did it. It did nice. It filled in things. It smoothed over. I mean it's a good primer. I didn't have any problems with it. No irritation or anything like that. It's just it's pricey and I think that you could probably find one that does exactly the same thing for a lot less money. So not knocking it. It was good. It just meh. Um, now I've got the Tristique, hope I said that right, it's the mini, mini Shadow Crayon in Venetian Gold. This is beautiful, I love it, it looks like a little pencil, and I love the color, so it's this beautiful, like, taupey, goldish brown color, that is it on my hand, it's just, you could actually probably use it as like a really pretty bronzy highlight. Um, if you wanted to. I really like this. I love the color. I love that it's nice and creamy and it blends out really well. But, I mean, like, look at that. It gave my hand this beautiful bronzed highlight. And that's probably what I would use it for. But I, because my eyelids are so oily and even with a primer, I just didn't feel like it stayed in place. It creased pretty quickly. Um, so maybe if you have drier skin this is great, but if you've got oily skin, I wouldn't really recommend this even with a primer. Like I said, maybe use it for a little spotty highlight. Actually, let's see. Yeah. Really pretty for that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's beautiful color, beautiful formula, and consistency is nice and creamy. Um, but as far as like eyeshadow goes, it totally not a win for me. And the last thing we've got is Liptitude 24/7 Hydrating Lip Stain. Now I think this is a, the full size product in this box. Um, I like this. It has a minty smell. I like minty, minty smelling things. The only problem I have with this product is the size of the packaging. Like, you've got all this product, which is great, but the applicator is so huge. Like, that's not conveniently going to fit into a purse to me. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. I, I love the product, but let's, like, cut this in half. This is huge. This is not quite as big. I don't know. It was just... I didn't like this. I just don't feel like it's the easiest to use, in my opinion. Product is great. If I'll show you the, like, the color is really pretty. It goes on nice and creamy. It stains well. It's not a matte type of a stain, so it does stay glossier and creamier. Um, and it will smudge, and it will get on your clothes. <laughs> I had it happen. I don't have it on today. Um... I did wear it. I 
it's a hydrating lip stain so again the creamier it doesn't stay on I just don't like the packaging I don't know but as far as the product goes it's nice as long as you were aware that it is not going to be a stay all day type of a product and that is it guys so yeah our bag is empty. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked this format of the video. So if you want to kind of do the unboxing, but do it a little later so that I can review the products, because um, personally I think I like that better, go ahead, thumbs up, or leave a, and leave a comment below. If you get Ipsy, let me know what you got in your bag that was different from my bag and what you liked and what I should try. Um, if you don't get Ipsy, let me know what subscription box you do get so I can toy around with those. Um, yeah, I have links to my Instagram and Twitter below if you guys want to follow me on a day. And just put a little on the highlight of my cheekbones. I love these new duos because they've got the highlighter.